that is according to Italian newspaper Tuttosport, who claimed Juventus are also aware of what Pogba wants to be paid to leave Manchester United. Pogba, 26, joined United from Juventus back in 2016 for a then world record transfer fee of £89 million. The Frenchman has blown hot and cold in the Premier League but has enjoyed an upturn of form recently under new United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Reports have surfaced that Real Madrid who missed out on signing Pogba from Juve three years ago are keen on his services. Those rumors were further fueled last week when Pogba admitted it remains his dream to play for Los Blancos. Now with Zinedine Zidane back as manager, Real seem ready to launch a bid for World Cup winner Pogba. And Tuttos Port have details of what agent Raiola will demand for his client. According to the report, Raiola will negotiate for Pogba to earn £13. 8 metres a season after tax. Paul Pogba decides on Real Madrid transfer that boils down to a pre tax contract worth roughly £584,000 a week. The report claims Juventus are aware of these demands, but the Italian side are unlikely to be able to match Raiola's request. After all, they are currently paying Cristiano Ronaldo a £105 million acquisition from Real Madrid last summer £26 million a season over the next four years. Ronaldo's contract was only secured by the support of Italian car manufacturer Fiat. Pogba heading back to Juventus therefore appears unlikely leaving Real as the only team who realistically can afford the midfielder, bar PSG. Real are expected to spend big in the summer to rebuild WTH Zidane back at the helm. They are also chasing Eden Hazard, Kylian Bapp and Mauro Icardi. However, any deal for Pogba would have to appease Manchester United's board, and they would want to make some profit on the sale. Meanwhile, Tuttos Port add that Juventus have an alternative target for Pogba in Lion Sensation Tengai and Mbell. The midfielder is under contract in France until 2023 meaning Lyon can effectively demand what they like for their gem. And that fee is currently set at around £63 million.